Immune compromised people are still at higher risk of COVID-19 infection than those that are not immune compromised. And what's made that even more challenging at this point in the pandemic is there are not as many societal practices to help reduce the transmission of COVID-19. There's about 7 million or more people in the United States who are immunocompromised, meaning that their immune system can't react to the challenge of a virus or a bacteria, a pathogen. And so there's a lot of people out there that are quite vulnerable. What we've done for the study is partner with a company called Q Health that has an at-home nucleic acid amplification test. It's a very sensitive test, much more sensitive than the antigen tests that most of us end up taking for COVID-19. We have the potential to be able to catch someone in the household at a very early stage when their viral load is still low, hopefully before it's actually high enough to be able to transmit it to the immune compromised person. Or we can identify it at a very early stage of the infection and try to get them treatment as early as possible. And so. Hopefully we can stop it before it gets to the point that they need to be hospitalized. They will also have access to something called Q-Care, which is for those that contract COVID-19, the option to have telemedicine once they test positive, as well as prescription delivery of antivirals like Paxlovid, for example. This is, I think, the most important thing we've done to try to help the immunocompromised population. We do know that Paxlovid works really well, irrespective of any of the variants, and it works just as well in the immunocompromised people as it does in people who are immunocompetent. So the idea here is that being able to test frequently, being able to get rapid treatment if needed, and get uh, coaching uh, through telemedicine, this is extraordinary. We really want them to know that we, we see them, we're still aware of how high risk they are, and we really hope that folks from the immunocompromised community will participate in the study because what we really want to do is help them, but we need their participation as partners to be able to offer that help.